get a broker, get a hedge fund, make millions of dollars. I like it. And don't believe the dude that fucking corrupted Enron. You'll be all right. I like him doing the intro after. I think it's a good idea. Ready to go? Intro us up. Community casting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to After Social House with me, the beard, Jimmy, Stretch, and the rest of the crew. Nicely done. How long have you been growing that beard? About six and a half months. That's six and a half months? Yeah, dude. My God, man. Dude, if I grew the way my beard did, I'd be like 6'4". <laughs> you never stop growing. I know. I stopped. My beard didn't. It was terrible. Dude, my older brother is 6'3". My younger brother is 5'11". Both my sisters are 5'7". My mom's 5'6". My dad's 6'. Wow. Wow. I'm on, pretty dude. sure I'm a milkman. Pretty much sounds ready. Would you exchange your beard for height? I hate him, but I Probably no. none. No. I think he sucks, but he's Good call. Person. No, 100% no. I don't know why I think I can put this hat on with this headphone. Yeah, you, you should probably. You're doing all right. You're doing Does that work? Right. You should yeah. probably wrap that around the other side. Yeah, to the NFC, motherfucker. Yeah. No you can't call it Dallas. Get just Dallas. Yeah. There you go. Who's going to beat him? Put on your. Yeah, there you go. Giants? I could not grow yeah, your beard if I tried. You, know the outcome of that one. you could. You just got to do it the right way. Well, like meditate on the individual hair follicles. Okay, so here's the biggest thing that people mess up when they try and grow beards. <laughs> They just stop shaving altogether. So who's going to win? Who's got the biggest thing that people edge? don't understand Eli is that the more you shave For some up reason, and down, the more you brush your face, Eli brush your hair, year, barely make it, barely the more your hair follicles are going to grow. Right, you're supposed to like rub it against the grain and like stimulate it up, and shit. down. Yeah, right. Like, your exactly. head on your hair, your, your hair on your head, and also the hair on your face. You go up, you go down. No. Once, once, once you see facial hair on your face, after you do that, groom it. It doesn't look like you groom your beard. Yeah, I know. They're whispering in the background, and it's distracting as well. It's freaking me out. <laughs> freaking me out. I hear voices behind me. <laughs> Yo, uh, Jack. Let me uh, hold that thing real quick. I'm gonna stand up. Sorry, bud. Oh, I got you. So the yeah, more, you, you the more, the more you groom your facial hair, and the more you groom the hair on your head, you don't like it. the faster and the more luxurious it will grow. <laughs> I am a living well, proof of that because. Hey, I had to shave my face three to five times every day for four years in the military. Jesus. Literally. You had to shave your head three times a day? Easily. <laughs> per day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a solid yes. That sounds... <laughs> Excuse me, excessive. It was, but for what I did, it was not. So being clean shaven in the military was a very good thing. Did, would you say that that lended to your uh, rapid beard growth? Absolutely. Okay. So you'd think, <coughs> so if I wanted to grow your beard... Like, this is the strongest it comes in for me. I mean, it gets longer, but it's puby. Right. It doesn't do that. Right. Uh, so what you would say is that I should shave it every day. Multiple times a day. Every time hair grows out, just shave it. Yes. Up and down. Right. Up and down? Yes. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. And right. the, more, the, more, the more you do that, the more your facial hair will grow, and the faster it will grow. Right. 
but it is uh it's uh God damn it! I, I, can't, I can't. I can't think. I can't think of the word. It's uh. It's it's make. It's making your. It's making your hair grow faster. Because you're you're constantly doing something to it. Accelerating. You're accelerating, but you're also uh. Um, Facilitating. Uh, I said it earlier. You're uh. You're you're you're. Fuck. You hate it. It's nice to watch you try and figure this out, though. I know. Somebody help help Jimmy out here. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I just don't wish I Not these two. <laughs> but basically, Maybe basic, one of our viewers. Basically, basically, what's happening is is that the more you do that to yourself, the faster the hair is going to grow. Right. Because you're constantly... Forcing it to be stronger. You're forcing it to be stronger, but you're also making sure that it's constantly being in a state of duress. Yeah, right, that's okay. what I mean, forcing it to be stronger. You're forcing it to be stronger. By that state of duress, your hair is going to grow fast. It's going to grow faster because just in the nature of the beast, the average human is not meant to be clean shaven. That's correct. The average human is not We're meant hairy. to have... We're hairy people. People are people. A, a, a clean shaven face, no hair on their arms and legs, no hair on their chest. Yeah, that's, society that, that, is, that, that. That, that is not how a human is supposed to be. No, you're right. 100%. And society says now, that's now, what we should do. now, that you either have, you know, facial hair, or you're fucking clean from the neck down, or you have hair from the neck down and you're clean shaven on your face or like whatever the fuck it is that girls are looking for now <laughs> and, and, and honestly god I have no like you were talking about jobs <laughs> jobs and jobs are the same fucking way right. different they, kind they, of jobs they, they, they yeah, really you are your genitals to your jobs before you alright keep going Norm- normally most jobs in the United States you gotta show your genitals do not care about the length of facial hair unless it gets past what I have stretch, and what you have. Well, when well, it's kind of other, it's, other other than that, unless it's, unless it's like if you know, it's you, food service, it's an issue. And I, I was about to get that. Which is a I was, issue. I was about to get that. Unless it's food. Right. Cause okay. Hair gets in right. Right. But but we're 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 gonna go a step beyond that. Okay. So above the above food, everybody else gives a shit about your appearance. Like, they don't want to buy jeans from a dude that looks like yourself. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> That's saddening. Unless it, it was a trend. It is, it is saddening. It, it, but, but at it, the but time, it, but it, it was a trend. But even, if, would, even, okay. if, even if it was a trend, even if it was a trend, they're playing towards the next trend that's going to happen after that. Right. So, that, so they're playing towards the next trend. They don't really know what that next trend is. But they know it's not going to be what the trend is at that time. So they're going to push towards the other side of the fucking box. I so, see. so the trend right now is beards. Let's just say. So everybody has a beard. Awesome. Cool. Hipster. Former military. What, what, whatever, whatever it is. Right? Right. So all these, all these big companies... They're going to push for the left side of the box or the right side of the box. Either side, it's going to be clean shit. Okay, fair point. I don't have a problem and, with that. And, and the different and the yeah. difference is is that the left side or the right side, when it goes back to another trend, one side is going to have beards again, and one side is still going to be clean shit. And once again, we've gone too deep. No, it makes a good that, point. That, 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 is, that is a difference. <coughs> makes sense. I, I've, I've, seen, well, I've seen this trend. I feel the same thing about I that. I've literally seen this trend happen. The same thing with that trend. Um, it's not necessarily the same thing, but on the same token, at least, I have, being a long-haired individual as a male. Um, did you say token? Yes, I did say token. You did say token. 
Thank you for scrutinizing my manner of speech over there, Jack. Appreciate you. Um, no. Where, do you know what it's like? Anyways. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Distraction from the background. This man doesn't want to be mic'd up but wants to talk shit. So... Uh, shake your finger all you want over there, buddy. God but, uh, <laughs> Is JB coming or no? He's scared of me. Actually. What's he talking about? I don't know. He's afraid of me. What a piece of shit. I have called him out my time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just didn't break to see where JD was. I'm sorry. Heard. Apparently he's scared. Yeah, yeah I bet he is. Um, anyways, <laughs> I almost forgot what I was saying. I apologize. Um, I have a problem with the double standard of hair. Like, head hair. Like, I tend to have longer hair. And a lot of places are like, oh, it's not socially acceptable for a guy to have longer hair, but a girl can have shorter hair. I don't want to bring sexism into it, but it is a thing. Like, you know, if it, it, girls are allowed to have longer hair where a guy isn't because they're girls and they have longer hair. So why is it okay for a girl in that same job to have short hair and a guy can't have long hair? Are you saying like bald head, like Sinead O'Connor? Yeah, something like that. Not no, no, not that bald. Oh, but like yeah. so, so, so let's but like let, Jimmy let's, let's let let's say let's say that a girl has a hair color like mine, right? And then I have a hair color like mine, right? And I'm clean shaven, right? We we both literally look almost the same, except she's probably prettier than I am, probably. Yeah. So we so so we both are in the same category, right? Not exactly, because she's a male and you're a female. And the other way she, around. She, but, she, yeah. she will get promoted before I do. That's not at all what I'm talking about, but probably, yes. She's probably a better worker than you are. Well, most people are better workers than I am. <laughs> I don't know about all that. No, you bust your ass. I'll give you that. I don't, I don't mean to I try my best. I apologize. But either way, no, what I'm saying is that... Um, I get shit as a guy who grows... Like, I grow my hair long to donate it, so I grow it long, and then I right. cut it, and then I grow right. it long, and I cut it. So there's a good two years where it's long, and then or a year and a half, rather, that it's long. And employers are always like, oh, you can't have long hair, uh, this and that. But then we have females with short hair. Like, where that's sort of a, a double standard. If you can have females with long hair, why can't you have guys with long hair? I have two questions. Sure. Number one... Do you explain to your employers why you have long hair? Yes. You're good. Do you also explain to your employers that you plan on cutting your hair to donate? You're going to have shorter hair. That would be donate. why I answered yes to question number one, yes. Well, I mean, some people are idiots. I'm not calling you an idiot at all. Well. <laughs> some people some people are just like, yeah, I have a long hair. What are you going to fucking do about it? Either way, yes. But either way, it's so, not so So everyone is always aware that... Yes, you have long hair. Yes, you're gonna cut it. Your hair's gonna be shorter. And when your hair's shorter, you can do a lot more things with it. It's gonna be well far and away from wherever the fuck you're working. Correct? I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, either Those way, people are idiots then. Yeah, no, I agree completely. But either, that's not even my point. Even if I wasn't gonna do anything, what if I just wanted to have long hair? Why can't I? There's no reason I tie why it up. I look presentable. A there, girl in the Josh, same Josh, there's, there's no reason why you can't have long hair. And that's what I'm saying. There's zero reason why. I agree. Because if I can have a stupid ass beard on my face, to to the point where I can put in a goddamn ponytail. Well, I mean, you work at a bar, but either yeah. Way. But at the same time, I st- I still deal with food. Right. I still deal with liquor. I still do open cups. Right. There's lots of opportunities. There's lots of opportunities for a hair from my beard to fall on somebody's right. shit. It looks pretty 100%. solid. One hundred percent. I appreciate it. Thank you. It is well put together. <laughs> Thank you. But what I'm saying is, is that if I can do this, well, I'm not talking there, about there, it. There's no reason why you can't do that. Well, I agree completely, but I'm not. I'm not talking about that standard. What I'm talking about is uh, what's appreciated by like a, a corporate standing. Like, um, it's okay. Like. It looks professional to have this, or professional to have that. Like it, it's quote unquote un- unprofessional to have a guy with long hair tied up. Because the corporate standard began in the '60s. Well, 
Okay. I mean, I'm sure it was before then, but. Well, l- l- let me let me let me explain. So okay. so the corporate the corporate standard began in the sixties, because in the thirties, forties, and fifties. 40s were an exception because of World War II and everything like that. Right. That so people time. were coming back yeah. and people are, you know, I mean, it is what it is. God bless all those people that fought for us and, and made us who we are today. And thank you guys very much. Thank you for the Japanese citizens uh, for still staying in America. The, fi- the 50s were kind of like a, like a transition period, so to speak. Like some people hopped on one, one side, some people hopped on the other side. The 60s is really where it, it really became divided as right. far as as far as the cultural the corporate standard and then everybody else and then if you wanted to get into that corporate standard this is what you have to do this is what you have to act this is what you have to wear well that's where the see. whole hippie thing came yeah. from right that's right, when that came right, right. and so and so so how that broke off was that Reagan. That, like one side was the hippies. Oh, no, it wasn't Reagan. One side was the hippies, and then one side was the 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 men who were smoking cigars, drinking scotch, wearing suits, clean shaven, clean yeah. cut, wearing this hat, wearing hats like that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit shorter though, like a little, yeah, little bit yeah. shorter, like more like. They bowlers. don't have time for more like bowlers. Still. Yeah, that's a little extravagant. But but you guys know what I'm saying. So like, it, it it's it's split off so divisively. So when the '70s came back around. Everybody would jump back into that, even that corporate nah, side. The seventies kind of oh well, jump back into the they, corporate they, side. They, they, they oh, ju- they, God, everybody jump back into like yeah. the, into the same because it got more like in, into the same pool. poppy so, and fucking exactly. So everybody jump back into the same pool, right? And then and when like, and then when the eighties came back around, oh that was ridiculous. So well, that the, was cocaine so, 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 and crack. No, no, but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So when the eighties came back around. That's when it really started to get separated towards where we are now, because there was the huge group that was the '70s that moved one way. Uh huh. There was a group that moved towards the middle that was like, "Yeah, I want to do a little bit of this. I want to do a little bit of that." Well, and, that's and then and then and then and then there was there was there was the far side. They moved all the way over and said, "Fuck that, we're gonna go this way." But you and I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying anybody's right or anybody's wrong. Well, nobody's so, right. So, so, so it, and it's, it's split right. in the thirds, right? So okay. It's, it's, so it's split in the thirds, and then the '90s came around, and when the '90s came around, the the it switched that, that, that far left flip flop that far left that I was talking about before. Yeah, it flip that, that, that said, I don't want to touch anything, nothing like that. Reverted back into the middle. Yeah, exactly. No, and every, it didn't and, revert and, to the and, middle. And, it's and, just and everybody, everybody started flip flopping. Like it flip flopped. Like, like, exactly. Like you were saying. But realize so, again. So now, so now so, but, it has flip flopped again. Right, right. But out of that, it created two groups again, not three. Well, it divides. But two. Uh, divide. Well, the waves create. Right, right. Division. No, no. But some people went this way. Some people went that way. Some people split off. So it created two groups again in the nineties. Okay. But then it creates offshoots. Of the I mean, those, those are, I'm, I'm talking on the larger scale. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it created two groups again, right? right? It created one group that was dedicated to, you know, doing well, getting a job, college, right, all the that shit. The American shed. view, the, the American white view, the American that. dream, all that right. shit. And then it was the other side. It was like you can which, make which, money which and is, live which, which happy. Isn't, which isn't necessarily a bad side. It's just that. They were like, okay, those guys are all doing that. So but there's other ways. Th- th- there are all these other markets over here. Right. They might not be the best markets. Well, they I mean, might they might might not be the most legal markets. Well, we'll see. No, so we're gonna jump over here and try that out. Not and even so, legal. And so and so when when that split happened, and then two thousand came along, and then the two thousands came along. And it just kind of compiled itself, and it it built itself. Well, the media and, and, took and, and over the two thousands. The the media the media has always been in charge. Right, but they but, had but, a but, strong but, hold in, in the later, like two thousand five on, has been just completely. Even uh, before that, dude. Even before well, that. Well, for sure. But 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 but, ha- but, but what happened? Yeah. What what happened was was that after like you know two thousand one, 
9-11, all that shit happened. Right. Well, that was... I don't even want to talk about that. But I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. <laughs> believe me, I have my own fucking yeah, deal on enough. that as a veteran. We'll get to that on a personal but, level. But, but, <laughs> but, 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 but... Off, off camera. But, <laughs> yeah, we're not. But the, the, the only thing I'm getting at is that after all that shit had happened with this 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, in the early 2000s, both sides merged back together. What are both sides, in your opinion, right now, at the point in the story you're at? So, the side that was just like, you know, we're not going to deal with any of this silliness, <laughs> jobs, like... Not oh, conformist? Within, within the American society. Like, the two divisions of, the well, two divisions no, of opinion among now, the citizens. Now there's no diversity. Uh, well, there is. But I mean, I mean there is, but but what I'm, what I'm getting at is on a whole. But the two sides you're talking about are encompassed within the entirety of the American citizen. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So everything came back together as a whole. Right. Okay. We got all. Well, that's all, when JFK all, got all, shot, though. All walks of life. Everybody came back together. That's and, when, and and this is where we are now. But uh, the, di- the 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 difference is now between when JFK got shot is that everybody now, for the most part, except for the few of us that radical, are... That radical liberals? Free-thinking individuals... <sighs> oh, hurt. Okay. <laughs> is that most people merely listen to what the news tells us. Correct. What we see on TV... Right. What the radio says. Right, you're probably. Hey, listen to this. Hey, watch this. This is what you should hey, laugh at. This is what you should laugh at. This is what you should cry about. Actually, I had somebody, all this fucking bullshit. I had somebody tell me. It's bullshit. Be, it's I, bullshit. Jimmy, let me tell you a story real quick. Uh, I was, yesterday. I was in my at my job. I'm not gonna say anybody's name. I was at my job. I'm not gonna even gonna say my job's name. I was at my job and I was cleaning something and the owner of the store was there and he told a story about something that had happened to somebody and his son was there to witness this and his son laughed at it and he told his son that's not funny and like don't laugh at that that's not funny and so initially I was like uh, well who is anyone to decide what the fuck is funny like if it's funny you laugh at it you don't choose to laugh at something that's funny it just, uh, you know, it happens. What happens when somebody slips and falls and busts their ass, you laugh. Mainly. But, but that's one thing. But if you, you as a father, well, let's, 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 put, let's put this in perspective. Okay, well, I, I let, understand let, you want to let, make let, sure that let, your son's let's, not going to be an asshole in public in his later... No, 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 I'm not, saying, right. I'm not even saying, like, in public. Let's, let's say you're a father, all right, and, you're, and your son is 18 years old. Okay. Okay, so he is old enough to make his own decisions. He can go to college. He can fucking get right. a car. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. But you're to still do. his father. You but you're still his father, place. correct? All right. So if something that you deem is traumatic to you, and it might not be something crazy, I mean, car accident, whatever it is, right? You know, if a bad fight you with tell you, if if you bad. tell your son about that, and your son laughs at you. Or he laughs at the situation, that'll probably piss you the fuck off. Me? No. I it'll piss me the fuck off. Laughter is one of my One hundred percent. It'll piss. Absolutely. Me. It'll piss me the fuck off. Who are you absolutely about? It piss me the fuck off. Oh, <laughs> it'll it'll piss you off. It'll, it'll, yes, it'll that's not off. funny. Because because no, I, I love, I because I would I would I would know that as a father, I've taught my son right and wrong, good and bad. Life and death, all that fucking all right. you know, back and forth shit. Jimmy, right? let's let me put you in a weird hypothetical situation for a second. Put me there. All right, let's just say, considering this, what we were just talking about. Okay. Let's just say I'm the father and you're the son. Okay. Now we have the same relationship as father and son in this hypothetical situation as we do now, like right. in real life. Okay. So I'm telling you the same sort of situation, like ah, oh, this day sucked. This happened. Fucking somebody died, this happened, whatever. Right. And then mid-story, you start busting out laughing. 
That would make me laugh. And it would cheer up the whole situation. That would piss me off. If you were me? Yes. Really? Because if I'm telling you something serious... But would you... Okay. If I'm telling you, you something serious... You want attention for it. Right? No, I'm not, I'm, attention, I'm, 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 I'm not like, saying I want attention for like it. Like you don't want to laugh about like, it. Like, like if, if, I, if I'm sharing something with you, as my friend, as my son, as my brother, as my sister, like whatever it is, right? and it, and it, it means something to me, like in my soul, in my core, and I'm sharing that with you, and I tell you this, and you start laughing at me, I'm either going to A, get the fuck up, and walk out of the fucking room. Well, that's fair enough. Or B, I'm going to fucking drop you, and I'm going to fucking walk out of the fucking room. That's irrational. I mean, I understand. Um, I feel like it'd it'd be something like a psychopath would laugh about something. If if it it was one of my brothers, so, 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 so so in that situation, I I find humor in almost anything. And and I do too, but like, so I'll laugh uh, like unexpectedly at something that is not supposed to be funny. If if I tell Stretch, Stretch, I want to talk to you about something, and Stretch has no idea what the fuck it is. It could be funny, it could be sad, it could be in between. He doesn't fucking know. Right. Right? And you're already laughing about it. Yeah, there you go. So, if I say stretch, I want to talk to you about something. And if it's serious, and I'm explaining to you from my side, and you have no idea what the fuck I was talking about before. But serious things make me laugh. And and I'm telling you this. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I can't help it, and some people can't. But it'd be like laughing at somebody if they told you they have cancer. Well, it depends on how they deliver that news. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> a psychopath would laugh at somebody if they told them that they had cancer. Well, cause, no, that, that's not a, a psychopath. So, so, that's psychopathic that behavior. A psychopath. It's you realize they have cancer. Cool. That's a factual. You fall into a statistic. Great. I love you. I can't change it. There's nothing we can do about it. Now, some joke was told about it. I think that shit's funny. Well, if there's a joke being told, that's one thing. But if you're just laughing hysterically after they told you that they have cancer. <laughs> well, okay. Well, so so, so, so let, let me, let, let me put it to you both this way. So if I gave you a fucking count by count, detail by detail story of both my deployments to Afghanistan mm-hmm. and either one of you fucking laughed at anything I fucking said I will laugh I guarantee it I would beat the fuck out of you well then I don't want to have the conversation I would I would I, I literally <laughs> like because I, I, I literally and I guarantee and, and, you and, and, I will and, laugh and, at and least I'm once not, and I'm not saying I'll this and I'm not saying this to be an asshole right I'm saying this because I'm not depreciative the, of these, the and, and, aspects and, and, of and, and, all of and it. I, and I know you're not. I know you're not. But I'm, I'm trying to help you guys and probably like the two people that are listening to Well, the right only now, way you could ever understand do that is to send is that, people in with virtual reality into your eyes. But, but what, 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 what I'm getting at, Josh, is that if I were to sit here and explain to you guys step by step, detail by detail, all year and two months of my life in Afghanistan as a Marine. And either one of you or anybody who was listening to this started laughing. <laughs> Just you saying it, it, laughing. It, 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 it was, it, like, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a laughing matter. Like, yeah, that shit wasn't funny. Like, like, like sure, like, I, I wanted to be there. And I, I joined to be there, and I signed up to be there. Right, that's it was why your choice. That, that, that's why. Sure. That's why I wanted to be there. It was. A, it was a personal choice. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know what's the best way to deal with horror and depravity? Oh, oh, and, and, believe, and believe me, I make. I that's make the a, best way to do I, it. I make a lot of jokes. When about I hear it. something horrible, my mind doesn't like horrible things, so it translates and, it and into I'm the, jokes. And, I'm the, and, and I'm then the same I laugh you are. inside my head. So I'm the same. Laugh way, I'm the same way you are. But, but why but, is that bad? No, it's, Why does it's, that it's, make it's, that should make you more empathetic at that person that laughs? It's 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 because you're it's, like their mind can't it's, it's couldn't not, even it's handle not, what it's, I just it's went not, through. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not. But if I if I really want to like actually share something with you guys, and if I if I really want to sit here and go, this is what happened from A to Z, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever the fuck it is. And I'm sitting there and I'm actually explaining to you guys, this is what it's fucking like, and this is how it goes. Right. And this is what I saw, this is what I did, this is what I went through. Okay. Right. And either one of you guys started fucking laughing at me, I would literally take these fucking headphones off and I'll beat the living fuck out of you. Yeah, but just 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 simply based on the fact that if you literally you're gonna sit there and you're gonna listen to my story. Okay, listen, Jim. And, and you're gonna laugh. You would be at, smart at enough what, to at, know. What, at what I said. When you've never been there, you've never done it. You never went through boot camp. You weren't in the army, navy, marine corps, air force, coast guard, nothing like that. And and, and I know I know this I know this is kind of extreme. there's humor in everything. Oh, there oh there always is. There's humor there, in there, absolutely there, everything. Oh, there always is. You tell me if you were a comedian that was also fit for combat and went away to war, bro, you bro. wouldn't have written jokes in the midst of combat. Oh, and, and let me tell you something. So, oh, I, I just I watched have, my buddy. I have, get, I have, you know, I have, yeah, I have, of course, I have. But but so why is it not? Why would you get mad at somebody for laughing at them? They're not laughing at you. They're not downplaying your situation. Why does that upset you? The difference is is that when I'm when when I when you tell a story, you set the tone, correct? Correct. So when you tell a story, stretch. Unless you're sitting you around the table, you, you set you set the tone. Whether yeah. it's whether it's humorous, whether it's serious, whether it's just like strictly right. Functional, so you got to stop what, people what, what, from what, what, deviating is, from that. Right. So you set the tone when you when you tell a story. Right. Correct. Okay. So if I started to tell a story, and it was a nonfiction story. And one of you started laughing at As this a non fake for people who don't know better. And one of you started laughing at this non fiction story before I started throwing in the jokes, I'll get upset. Now, as a non fiction story, when I started throwing in the jokes and you guys started laughing, I would know number one, you guys understand what the fuck I'm talking about, and B, you guys for some fucking weird reason think I'm funny. That's actually, um, I'm sorry to sidetrack you, but that's, I noticed this yesterday. I was rewatching a podcast yesterday and there's been a couple people on podcasts that have started out giving, like they'll give a list of something and they're like, number one, this and B, this or A, this and number two, this, like people have been mixing together letters and numbers and I find that amusing. Um, I just thought Fair I'd point that out. I, I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally <laughs> I want anybody okay who's ever done it to explain themselves. I'm going to do the research and call you out. Um. The reason the reason why I do that is because a <laughs> I'm kind of drunk. And two. number number two, <laughs> I'm trying to piss you off. Well, that's fair enough. No, no, but a I'm kind of drunk. B. All right, and three. To me, it's easier for me to follow my own fucking segment if I go A, B, C, one, two, three. I'm going to pretend like I know what you're talking about. I thought for the You started of- this. <laughs> you should know what I'm talking about. You started it. Anyways. Um, but the A could be a sub-level to the number. Yes, it can. Like, so it's like it one. Could. They're very closely this, correlated. One A, and then one A, and then B, two B, and then you it's jump like, to it's two. Like one A, one B, one C. Yeah. Two A, two B, two okay, C. Okay. Well, then you would need both. Three, of them four. And the, uh, no, no, you don't. I really like this yellow light a lot. I want to take it home with me. You could be high. Oh no, I'm definitely high. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But I do like it. This Anyways, portion of Community uh, Cast is brought to you by Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Because uh, we're totally can, in Denver. Can we, can, we, can, we, can we change the subject from something so serious to like something more fun? Uh, sure. More serious I than do, marijuana? Do more like fun than marijuana? I what talking about, but I got to mention. Well, no. I mean, marijuana is awesome. I'm talking about Jimmy, like, what we were talking about oh. before. Jimmy, I have a very vast, eclectic sense of humor. So do I. If you are ever about. in a conversation and you're talking about something serious... And I start laughing. I'm still probably gonna punch you. I'm probably gonna jump out the way, and I'm sorry if I. I'm react. probably gonna, I'm probably gonna punch you, but believe me, it's not because I'm an asshole. It's because when I no, start being I think serious, what you to say, it's very few and far between. So true? when people laugh at me when I'm being serious, I take that personally. Right. Well, I think those sorts of things are funny. Fair enough. 
And I, if that's Fair if enough. that's what causes Fair you enough. to get in a fight, Fair if, enough. if we fight one day over that, then my bad. Josh, you're one of my very good <laughs> friends. Even though I got really pissed off at you, I would just simply get oh, up and walk away. Oh, one day when I was... Oh, okay. I would Definitely. simply get up and walk away from you because you're one of my really good friends and I would really hate to punch you. I would really hate to punch any hey, of my really good friends. If it makes you feel better, please do. It, if Nick was in this seat, if JD was in this seat, if Stretch was over here, <laughs> anybody, any of my really good friends, <laughs> you guys are my really good friends. You are. You guys are my really good friends. Believe it, believe it or not. Believe it or Appreciate not. Appreciate that. Like, I I came to this town knowing nobody except for Nick. Who's Nick? <laughs> You're drunk. You'd, you'd know. I know. Who Off their is. relationship, their interaction together, you'd know who Nick is. Nick, oh. Nick is the dude, dude with, with the, the sleeve. Other the dude with the sleeve and the glasses and the beard. And yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, I know. So he is my best friend the entire world. His name's Nick. His name is Nick. I thought it was... I want somebody to look at me with the affection that Nick looks at Jimmy with one day. Bingo. That's kind of weird. It's not You've weird. never seen it. So <laughs> you don't know. Josh, okay. Josh, when you've been through what me and Nick and I have been through together, I mean, it's in a totally, well, totally non-sexual way. No, I get it completely. Then, it's like then you will understand. One that. part of another one's life kind of deal. I, me and Nick literally... In January, can live together and be fucking married by the state of Florida because we live uh, together. Common law marriage. Yeah, that thing. We can. I've be thought about doing that with a couple friends of mine. Actually, me and Nick can do it. Uh, right. I like how you earlier corrected yourself to Nick and I. Me and Nick, Nick and I. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and I. Me and Nick. Who gives a fuck? Nick at night. All right. Nick at night. I could have sworn that my beers were sitting here right next to me, but yeah. I could use a beer. I, 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 it quite I, I, appears I that they're right yeah. So I'm gonna take a pause for a second. Jimmy, can Sorry. you can you tell everybody? Did you work tonight? No. What did you do tonight? I drank with you guys. Before that, I went to Ale House. That sounds like a very so here, here. So here, here's my day. Here's my day. Hold on. I work you tell your day to them while right. I grab beers. Fair enough. <laughs> you don't burp to start out your day. <laughs> okay. So there I was. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up. I went to social house. Were you groggy when you woke up or were you like ready for the day? Dude, I was ready for the fucking day. Yeah, ready to take that shit on. I was ready for the whole goddamn thing. Pumping that shit. Pumping the iron. <laughs> so I woke up. I got to the social house by 8.50. I opened the bar. Opened the office. Oh, this is in the morning. Oh, my God. Counted the safe. Counted my drawer. Put the drawer in the, in the register. Opened my tabs. Opened the entire bar. Took everything off that needed to be taken off. Put everything where I needed to go. Everything out of place. A place for everything. Sounds like a regular day, though. Didn't have a bar back today. So had What's it, Monday? Had one server. It How was, busy was it? it? It got really busy towards the end. Oh, you're a liar. What's that, two tables? At 5 o'clock, she had eight tables. She? You had one server with eight tables? I had one server, eight tables. Yeesh. That's actually kind of like in the weeds. Really? There was only one server? And I had a full bar. Okay, so there was only one server. Yes. And you bar backing, and who is bartending? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I did both. It's a one-man show. No, that's not true. Yes, there was it is somebody, true. There was somebody else no, there. No, there was the house. not. No, there was not. Talk about today during the afternoon. I'm talking about from fucking 9 a.m. to, there was 7, nobody to else. 7 p.m. In the front of the house, it was behind just the bar, you and a server. Behind the bar was me. And I had one server. Who was the manager on duty? Me. So that's it. I right? opened the bar. <laughs> he was I doing I was the everything. bartender. <laughs> I was the bar back. I was the fucking judge, jury, and executioner. That sounds like horrible scheduling in the holiday season. It's just called dread, Judge Dread. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> we were just talking about that. This guy. Today. But guess what? On the tail end of that, even though it sucked dick, I made $240. 
Well, there you fucking go. Very fucking crazy. You deserve to have a fucking so, rough I mean, ass day. I don't even want to hear your fucking complaints anymore. In that, in that case, get twenty bucks. In that, in that <laughs> case, that was okay with me. But it got to a point where it was, it was, a, little, it was a little bit sketchy. It was a little bit weird. This portion of the community cast at uh, Corey's Casino is brought to you by Bud Light. Nice. We have Jimmy here drinking Bud Light as well. Stretch. Yeah. Always represented. Still only drink Bud Light drinks. Dude, Stretch, how do <laughs> Stretch, how do I get a hat like that, dude? Oh. Uh, oh. you buy it from someone who has one. No, um Who's Brody. That? Is your is your name Stretch? You know Brody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's just asking for him. He always has him. Dude, I don't see Brody except for like a fucking pale moon sometimes. Oh. Why does it gotta be a pale moon? Because that's the only time it comes out. Now I feel weird. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> see, if you were Nick, this would be like perfect chemistry right now. Yeah, because... But you're not. <laughs> 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 Andrew. What you doing over there, bro? Trying to stay off Andrew, podcast. Andrew, Andrew, give us a topic, please. Andrew's trying to stay off podcast. Andrew, give us a topic. I don't want to give him topics. I don't know sports. why. Give us give us a sports he's topic. He's really nervous about being on podcast. I think he thinks he's not funny. Any any sport, give us a topic. Right, uh, oh, how about them cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the cowboys. But they did beat coming, the Buccaneers this uh Coming from stretch. Week. Probably not a good topic. Stretch is a is a, is a is giant a, fan. A the only team that's core. beat the Cowboys no, this year. He's a hardcore Cowboys fan. Giants fan. They're, they're the undefeated <laughs> team beaters. Yeah, we beat undefeated teams. They, so they we would do. have beat the 72 Dolphins. I've seen Stretch wear yeah. Cowboys and, attire. Andrew, Andrew, oh, Andrew. Don't you, <laughs> don't you lie like in that. An un, in an unadulterated way, uh, give us a football sports topic. Football topic, excuse me. College, college or pro? Are you a sports fan? Would you know better? He is. I'm asking you. Me? <laughs> yeah. Are I, you? A, I like sports. Okay, because I know nothing, but I'm down to talk about it either way. Andrew, Andrew, give us a topic. College or pro? Football. I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty uh, biased on that, so I'm really only Heisman about the Patriots. <laughs> Heisman playoffs. What is the Heisman whatever. trophy? How did that come to be? Does anybody know? I do. What is it? What's the answer? How okay. did it come to be? Okay, so in the 1920s, that was a man. Specific. <laughs> that is extremely accurate. <laughs> I didn't even have to fact check it, and I was like, there, "Damn, he's there right." Was, there, there was a man named John Heisman. Okay. Okay. And at that time, there were very few United States colleges that played football. Okay. They were baseball. For for for. Baseballish. Right. So, for example, there was Harvard. Okay. Yale, the Ivy League schools. Boston University. Okay. Mostly Northeastern. Right. Colleges. The colonies. Not even. Not. Not even. Well, like, it not just even, worked not, out that way. What a coincidence. Anyways. And n- not even. Not even south of the Mason Dixon line college. <laughs> right, like, 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 well north of that. Like of it was course. like it was like a collection of colleges. Okay. In the in the far northeast, right? Okay, so that accepted football. So John Heisman initially played college football in the very early 1900s. Okay, so Kay. like 1910, something like that. So like like 1901 to 1910, somewhere. Okay, there. okay. All right, so very very early. Yeah. All right, really early. Gotcha. Like really fucking like before early. football is even. A so thing, so right? 19. Or 1898 was when actual like football as we know it today was introduced to the United States. Where is it from originally? Do you know? Um, so it was a mixture of rugby. Makes sense. So it, it was actually it was actually rugby, and it was Rutgers and I want to say Princeton, and there was a guy when they were playing. And if you guys know anything about rugby, do you guys know how to play rugby? I have watched them. Yeah, I, mean, I have watched you, people play. Yeah, I've before. watched rugby. They have mm-hmm. oh, yeah. I've seen a scrummer too. You, you, you guys have all whatnot. watched rugby before. Right. Okay, so normally they toss the football or the, the ball to their left, to their right, or behind themselves. 
I didn't know that they did it like that. I had no I idea about this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's a lot like the uh, the the thing that happens every now and then at the, okay, the okay. last few minutes of the game where you have to make a lateral pass or, or like, behind uh, yourself or whatever. All right, so, so let me break this down. Okay, so in rugby, you pass it to your left, to your right, or behind you. What about in front of you? No, it's not allowed. You can't do to that. To the left, to your right, <laughs> Wait, or you behind. can't do that. <laughs> I got it. But you can't You can't in rugby pass it in front of you. Did I say in front of you? No, not so at all. To the left, I to, to the stretch, right. Stretch, should I say in front of you? Or behind you? No, no. <laughs> you cannot go in front of you. So, this, okay. this, is how, this, <laughs> this is how American football got invented. But you can definitely throw in front of you in American football. Yes. yes, 100%. But that's not rugby. So when everybody set up no. for the scrum, so the scrum is when everybody gets together. And it's like kinda, a scrimmage. It, it's like kind of homosexual. But, <laughs> <laughs> but tell the story anyway. Good job, Europe. So everyone gets together, and they all put their like shorts together, and they like push. And grab their uh, pockets yeah, and stuff. And, they, right. and they, put the, they put the ball. Hold their balls. They put the ball. Yeah. Just, just one ball. Uh, not everybody's just balls. Just the left one. Just the left one. They put the ball in the middle of both teams. Okay. So the guy who got the ball. Oh, so they're all like hiked up next to each other. Yeah. So so they're all pushing each other. Right. And the ball's in in the middle of both teams, right. both sides. So America's like, this is a little gay. We're gonna separate ourselves a little bit and no, no, no. divide it out. One one dude said this was kind of gay. So what happened was, was that after the scrum got won. And the ball got thrown back to the winning scrum team. This dude, like ins- ins- instead of instead of throwing it to his left, to his right, or to the back, threw it forward. Oh, so he broke ground. And and nobody. Everybody's like, I had and, no idea you and, could and, do that and, before. And nobody knew what to fucking do, because that had never been done before. Because everybody, I mean, if you ever go to England, because he had somebody open out there, so you, he just threw it to if, me. If you ever go to the UK, France, Italy, pretty much those three. Okay. So, so, <laughs> so if you ever go to those three countries, their their standards are set almost in fucking stone. How you do things, how you live your life. Just in uh, your, your, in your, 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 in your your culture your, your, and whatnot, your like culture, everything like that is set in stone. Like there's not so much deviation as there is here. Like exactly. Everybody does the exactly. same. Fucking everybody thing. does the same fucking thing. Okay. So this guy completely broke protocol with everything. Where is he from? He was an English guy. You're talking about Heisman, right? Heisman came after this guy. Okay. So this guy threw the fucking football, uh, the ball, forward. So when he threw the... F- oh, the quarterback. When he... They didn't call him that then. Right, but just for my... The quarterback threw it forward. Right. Nobody knew what to do. So they stopped the entire game. They canceled it. Everybody went home. It was a tie. Okay. They so agree to disagree. Exactly. So the, pow- so the powers that be decided that they should change the rules. Okay. So when they decided to change the rules, that's where John Heisman comes in. So who is John Heisman in that situation? Just he a was, player? He was, he was the guy. He was the American that came into this whole situation and made... Everybody else realized that yes, throw the football the fuck forward. <laughs> America. America, America. Heard. World War Two champs back to back, baby. Uh, anyway, I like to bring politics and it, podcasts. It's, it's not politics. Uh, those are, it's those history. Are, those, those are facts. Yeah. Well, politics are history. I'm about to do my first give back, but I need a little information. He unzips his pants as he's talking about no, doing his no first give back. So they start. The um. <laughs> You're a savage. Anyways, individual. I got wings. Well, that's interesting. Cooking so Heisman was right a Remember part of... Heisman, Heisman originally the was... The first Heisman committee that, 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 said, that started football, and he, like, as we know it to be. Like, right. like it was rugby, right. but not. 
Whoa. And so the reason why the Heisman out. Trophy I is a really big deal in college is because too. college football in the United States when I bring it over was too, be like, much, much bigger you the than professional football. Right, it, it, because Initial. people Explain have uh, camaraderie to their schools around them. Even Ex- people, exactly. you know, older people still watch students exactly. that they don't even know exactly. in that college that they're from. Like, they went to that and, college and, so they watched their and that And that simple fact alone, like schools like the University of Chicago... Northwestern, um, Ohio State, Denver, University uh, of Denver, Jacksonville, uh, University of Michigan. Um, no, no, no. But this, like, What's seriously, fun? like, it, 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 <laughs> you're, you're just throwing out random cities. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I. Do. It, it, it it mostly originated from the There's Northwest. Football towns, though. Oh, you're, you're talking about like Gainesville and Jacksonville from that, the that, Northwest, that and, and then and then it grew from there. Oh uh, yeah, but because it grew from there. So when so when it grew from there, southern cities like Gainesville, Tallahassee, they can't hear you. Columbia, <laughs> South Carolina, um, Charlottesville, Chapel Hill, cities like that. I don't know most. They of those started cities. getting notoriety. Okay. But you're not a sports fan, so you don't know those I'm cities. Not, no. <laughs> okay, we all know where Tallahassee is, correct? Yes. yes. No. That's in where. No, I do. <laughs> That's in where, guys? Florida. Yeah. Thank you. Northeast Panhandle. Does anybody see what the college is in a, What college is in Tallahassee? Oh, Florida A&M. <laughs> I didn't know the what's, what, what's the What's the weird white college that's over there? There's another school up there? I think so. <laughs> I, I didn't think there was another school in Tallahassee. I don't fucking know. Stram, I fucking love yeah. you. <laughs> FAMU, that's what and Tallahassee's known for, right? T- Tallahassee only has FAMU, and then that weird Capitol building looks like a penis. Yeah. Fair enough. There's so, some so special ed so school so up there, so too, there, I believe. But there is, actually. Yeah. It's the oh, Florida no, School no, for the Deaf. <laughs> <laughs> you savage sons of bitches. So, so there's FAMU, Red Stretch. Yes. The Rattlers crush it. They're, re- they're actually a really good football team. They really are. Their band is better. Uh, Their band I, is legendary. I like a good band. Their band is savage. As a drummer, I'm an appreciative. The, no, their band is really fucking good. Yes. Their band is really good. <laughs> like people go to the games just to see the band. They, they care less about people. The people go to homecoming just to see the band. I hear they people don't start teach, homecoming just they don't to see the fucking that, band. They don't I, have music classes in elementary schools anymore. Or art classes. That's what I hear is happening. I don't go to elementary school anymore. I hear that a lot of people just avoid sure? the city because of the yeah. game. <laughs> Are you sure you don't go to elementary school anymore? I would like to. I have like a taste in young girls. So you kind of look like Slash with that hat on. Oh my god, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> again. Um, <coughs> who else told you you look like Slash? Where the fuck is JD, by the way? Is, I, he, is he just not coming? No, he, but he showed up for a second and, and left. He lives down, down the street. He didn't show up. He did. Did he walk in the house? Uh, no. What the fuck? That sounds like a lie. Andrew's a liar. (laughs) It's absolutely not a lie. Let me me, me check my phone. I swear to Christ, if this kid. I was really thinking, considering this is Corey's house, that he was going to pop in and say a few words. I'm pretty sure this is Corey's house, though. He did. He didn't say words, but he popped in. Yeah, he fucking showed his face. I don't give a shit if he shows his face. We're not taking pictures here. The face is important. I disagree. It's Facebook. It's not like dick book or body book. I didn't say it needed to be either one of those things. <laughs> I was talking more about word book, <laughs> I, I think which is pretty appropriate. <laughs> word, word, word book is called the dictionary. If, yeah. if, if there was a, a dick book, it probably wouldn't. Word, word book is uh, called the dictionary or the thesaurus. It would be the dictionary. Can you call it dick book for short? It. It would, have sure a, can. it would have I a really like short it. lifespan. I, I wish I had <laughs> thought about mine, that when I was still in school. It, I would have asked my teachers for the dick book, and they would have looked at me like I was crazy. But then you say, no, dick book, D-I-C-T. Yeah. I, dick. I would have dick book. The dick book. No, nah, you don't have to pronounce well, you it don't like over that. Zero, you overpronounce zero it once thoughts. they call you on it. Yes. You that would say, be like the say, greatest thing to think of, but then when it actually came to fruition... Uh, it would just end up not being what yeah, you Yeah, you'd wanted. wind it up would, suspended. It would, it would be... It would for be saying gr- dick book? It would be grinder. Oh, yeah. 
Because I don't go, I don't go school, easy. Yeah. In school, I don't school, go yeah. easy. If you fucking try to tell me I'm wrong, I'm going to tell you a hundred ways you're not. And yeah. I'll probably get mad and then say some inappropriate shit. And then it's like when you're in prison, they do, they just keep tacking the charges up. and then I wouldn't equate high school to prison, but... No. I, w- I wasn't trying to. I'm saying in terms of like... <laughs> I didn't mean to give that impression. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go look up the dick book and tell me what that definition is. <laughs> grab, yeah, grab that. No, but what I'm saying is that uh, like, if you're about to get in trouble or kicked out of a class or suspended or something, anything you do after that is like, oh, there you did another thing. Oh, there you did another Tacking thing. Tacking on. And then, yeah, I, I, exactly. I think the only difference between prison and, and school is that in you school they threaten school. to throw you out. In prison they threaten to keep you longer. To uh, throw you in. Yeah, <laughs> and you can leave do school you, a lot. Do you guys really think it's that close? <laughs> no. Do you really think no, it's that close? Really, Honestly, really think it's that I, close? I, I, I loved high school. I had a great time. I, I had a good time in school, too, do you, to be honest. Okay, right. I didn't want to leave just, I just want to make sure I'm on the same page as the rest of you, because if you really think that high school and prison was but I'm sure on the there, same page. There are guys. people who do think that that's a thing. Like, probably but thought you can, in school that way. I'm pretty sure a lot you of You can cut school. You can't cut prison. No, you can. You just gotta have a good plan. But can you no. get a can you get a college degree freely from Ooh. prison? Probably the same way you can from you high get school. The GEDs if you in make prison. the right yeah, connections, yeah, GEDs are a college degree. You can make You're correct. if you make the right connections in prison, you could probably get a college not a college degree, but like an accredited uh, sort of certificate, like online. Like if you stay out of trouble, maybe not even online, but like if you stay out of trouble in both places. Okay. And you get decent grades. Let's just say B's, for example. If you get B's. Above average, yeah. Okay. In high school, you're going to go to a four-year university. If you do the same thing in prison, you're going to be allowed early on good behavior. (laughs) Yeah, but during the time that you're there, you have the opportunity... For your university, good behavior. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You have the opportunity. I to realize go to a we were weighing the scale like that, or a fucking maybe I or, missed or a piece of the conversation. Good behavior, and you get let out at the same time. Frankly, I don't know, Frank. He's I'll asshole. go with the good behavior. <laughs> I think I'd rather do four years in a high school than four years in a prison. Oh yeah, for sure. But, Thank you, Okay, Trish. so here's the difference. I'm, in my Thank mind, you. I'm thinking that during this four years of being in prison... Your asshole your looks res- like a windsock. Your res- <laughs> <laughs> As I say, every every time I take a shit and it's painful, I'm like, thank God I haven't been to prison. Your asshole looks like a windsock. <laughs> I had one of those I'll today. I'll tell you right now, I'm a little dude. My asshole looks like a windsock. I, I don't I'll know get that. fucking fucked four times a second. Whatever the case. What they I'm would, saying some, is Some big-ass dude would look at me and go, come here, little boy. I would rather come out four years later with an education. I would rather come no, out no. with four, four convictions of murder. Josh, you'd be come in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to respond to that. that, that uh, <laughs> that's that, the whole point. That caught me on a different level. <laughs> Happy holidays, Andrew. I'm getting you nothing for Christmas. Merry year. fucking or Christmas. Or Kwanzaa or whatever the fuck you say. Happy is. Hanukkah. What your Kwanzaa is. I'm not Jewish. But either way, what I'm trying to say is that if in four years you had you were going to get the same amount of knowledge, but on one hand you were in the free world going to college, and on the other hand you were in prison, but within those four years you came out with that same amount of knowledge, but you went through those two different lifestyles through that time. The person from prison would get more out of it. That's exactly what 100%. I'm saying. I would prefer that, it to be the, the person. You get more in them, too. But that's not, but that's that's probably that's the, true. But that's not the case. And then when they that get out, they have shit to look forward to. Well, right. They're that not getting not the exact. That is not 100% the case. But what if they did that in prisons, though? But what if I was six foot four? We're going to play <laughs> but what ifs all day. That is not the case. <laughs> You're right. When, when, when people get out of prison... In the United States oh, right shit. now, that is not the case. 
God damn it, Josh. <laughs> and, I spilled and, my and, and it sucks because I agree with you. I would love for that to happen. That would be awesome. It would be wonderful. Because like, there's not a lot of because, people because, in prison that it, are going to put it, their it, time into it. You it, still have to do it, the it, work. It would be, be therapeutic. They would get something out of it. And they would go but back they're to they, they would, go, they would that, go back to society with a skill to get back into the right. workforce but they, to be a productive but they member of society. Get certi- people which that'd be wonderful. great. People that in prison get certifications. They have places where they can go and study and fucking learn. Yeah, except that when they like, get out of prison, no one wants to hire them because they can do they a background check. But, on but it's the same charge. thing. If you were to go to get an AA and then you come out, yeah, I got an AA. Where'd you get it? In prison. Like, oh, cool. Yeah, great. We're not really going so, to so, so, ri- so riddle me this. Let me, let, me, let me just be the devil's advocate real quick. Fair enough. All right. So you get your AA in prison. Correct. Let's just say you, Josh, for example. Right. You get your AA in prison, and you crushed everything. Right. Like straight fucking. It's the A's. same like, curriculum. Like, as like same anywhere, same anywhere, curriculum yeah. anywhere anywhere else. All right. So you get accepted in the UCF. Okay. Let's just say like. To finish up again, with the again, again, somewhere. devil's advocate. You get you get accepted in the UCF. You get your degree from UCF in whatever degree it is, which is like. Marketing, I'd say. I was gonna say botany, but sure. Botany. Okay, <laughs> so you get a degree in botany, okay, from UCF. Okay. So you have a bachelor's degree in botany. <laughs> okay, Sorry, from from say. an accredited four-year university, not right. a college, a university. Right. Okay, and you go apply for a job. Obviously, that felony is still on your record. Right, but okay. they're not going to even but, be looking but, at But, 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 they also see that after that felony, you did all of that positivity. It is the same exact thing for anybody else. Yeah, I completely agree. Any fucking buddy That's else. I think it would depend on the felony, though. No, it wouldn't. You don't think it so? Absolutely no, wouldn't. No, it, it no, does. Stre- no, no, stretch is right. Like if, no, if you murder, so- if you murder somebody, I'm not hiring you. If you murder no. somebody, man, kill the man. I can't have him working from, from for me. From a business so, point yeah, of view, yeah. it definitely depends. I mean, I, obviously, you don't want an, an aggressive person working there. And if they were uh, in in prison, you're aggressive. If they were in prison for like stealing a shit ton of money from a previous employer, obviously you don't want to hire them. Right. <laughs> but murder is one thing. Like, uh, uh, honestly, here's the thing about murder. I've never personally murdered anybody. I've never personally hope watched not. anybody yeah. murder anybody. But in my mind, I've definitely murdered people. I, I um, wish I could hire someone that had murdered someone for a customer service job. That would be awesome. What I'm saying is that... The fact like, that you just gave me a play-by-play of who you have have not murdered. <laughs> I didn't do all that, but either way, my point I'm is that with you. my point is that um, I can understand how people, especially weaker-minded people, under certain circumstances, could find themselves in a situation where their emotions got the better of them, and they quote unquote accidentally killed somebody. Um, no, no, time, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. There is no accident when you kill somebody. You make a conscious choice. Of course. Within yourself. I'm not saying it's not a conscious choice, but it's not a definitive no, 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 choice no, no, to no, action. No, 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 but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not an accident. Gentlemen no, it's not an accident. It is not an accident. Maybe I didn't I'm mean to say to accident. Are, you, are we talking about this accident or a different accident? That was my, <laughs> that was my accident. Well, I hope I'm you take care of that. Did J.D. Accident. leave already? Who? J.D. Oh, he's been gone. <laughs> he literally stopped here for five seconds. I fucking hate him. I'm gonna kill him. Corey, what do you want for Christmas? I don't want. Christmas is too far away to think about it. Dude, it's like I four days away. Corey uh, wants something for Christmas. Huh? Stretch, what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. I don't really think about that shit. Yeah, I mean, I mean are, you, are you talking about if you could ask for anything in the world? No. I don't want to stroke your dreams right now. But yeah, sure. What are we stroking? Corey's oh, penis. I don't know. Are we stroking, joking, fucking midnight token. Or Is it cold out there right we now? We stroking and joking? Fucking cold. <laughs> it was not cold earlier. Here in Orlando, it's cold outside. Hey, uh, by the Stretch, way, it looks like Andrew brought you some paper towels. So the, uh, oh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much. 
Jimmy just walked away without, like, saying goodbye. He introduced the show. He should have signed off the show. It was nice speaking with Jimmy tonight. It was good. We should do this again. I respect that beard so much. Yeah, right? It's a nice beard. It's a beautiful beard. He gave us instructions, but I still don't think I can do it. Um, I think I'm going to go back and watch them. <laughs> Check it out. See Absolutely. if you can out. Because he makes a decent point, and I've heard that before, what he was talking about. But he has the kind of beard that I would punch someone in the face for if they tried to mess with it. Like and if I think you like had that beard and they tried to fuck with it, you'd hit no, him No, if I face. saw him, and even if I didn't know him, and I saw him in like a bar, and some asshole was trying to mess with that beard, I'd feel you'd, obligated to go over and You'd jump in him. and like yes. rob him out? Yes. Hurt. I believe we call it the beard gang. Okay. It's like well, a you secret gotta, society. You got a good thing going on over there, too. I have beard envy every time I see him. I can't. <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do what you're doing. I don't think of it in an envious stature, though. Like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Like, he makes me want to quit. I was like, six months? I thought it was going for like a year. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Yeah, now? when he said that, I was like, uh, that doesn't months. even sound right. No. Like, my, that, no, my hair doesn't grow that much in six months. No. I think this story has been fabricated. You think the, the time frame is off? Yeah. I'm it's pretty possible. sure it is. I'm going to have to check him up on that. Explain yourself. Explain yourself. There's no fact checking I can do. I mean, I could probably like stalk his Facebook page. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, do it on your own time and then let me know what you came up with. But <laughs> Strictly for research purposes only. Right. Research purposes only. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, Stretch, I really do apologize about my, and to everybody who may ever watch, uh, about, you know, I fucked up today. That's all good. I got too drunk at the Christmas party. It was a good time. Mellow Mushroom Christmas party. It happens. Um, but. And I like all my podcasts equally. Uh, I like all of them uh, equally. Uh, 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 okay. Whatever. <laughs> you don't believe that? Yeah. Art and Heart never has fucking technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> we have the technical difficulties. Corey's not even here to back me up. But if he was here. I guarantee you he would back me up on this. <laughs> but I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. I won't see anybody again until, uh, you know, <clears throat> until Kwanzaa is over. You got, your, you got your week in review coming up on Sunday, don't you? Are you doing that? On Sunday? Sunday is Christmas, isn't it, it? Yes. I will not be here for Christmas. Oh, okay. I'll be here for Monday. Okay. Yeah. We I'm can move some things around. I'm going down south to, for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Very nice. Welcome back, Jimmy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm going to need to recruit a new me because I need to smoke a cigarette. We can just sign off. We can sign off and then sign back on. Or no? Yeah. I mean, it is 530. Stretch, you're going to be here for like through Christmas Eve, Christmas. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be gone for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Dude, can you come through social on Christmas Eve? Yeah. I'll be here. Why? So we can do a Christmas Eve podcast. Uh, I'm calling in. If it happens live, Christmas I'm calling Eve. from so South it'll, Florida. It'll be me, Ross, Nick. Yeah, he told me about that today. That's a good idea. He wants to do after hours. Dude, oh, and let, after hours, dude. Let's let's Ooh. do this. Yeah, because we've been off after hours let's, for like two weeks now. Can we get the number in on this? It? Huh? Can we get the number in on it? Yeah. Right. The number's right above your head. Right there. Nailed it. <laughs> about time. That <laughs> <God> damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how you like it, number. Oh. Hey, brother. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that looked like you were eating a big dick. I was trying to. Good for you. All right, I think we're done here. Drunk drugs. Yes. Yeah. Happy holidays. Keep, drive, happy holidays, keep drinking. Everybody. Don't watch your podcast while you drive to your mother's house. Crush it. Keep drinking. Do all that, Jimmy. Thank you. Stretch. Thank you guys. As always. Pleasure as always, guys. Smoke a goddamn cigarette.